Hey everybody, it's Jay the Haitian over here. Hope you guys can see me. So, anyway, I'm at work, as you guys can see. I'm actually, um, they put me in this booth now. I don't really see that. It's alright for what it is, but at the end of the day, I still, this is not what I want to be doing, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, it's not what we're here talking about. What I'm talking to you guys today about, I actually kind of like the lighting in this, so I'm going to use this one often, um, is, because yesterday was Monday, and I didn't get to do my video like I wanted to for Motivation Monday, and it was really pertaining to, because yesterday was a little rough day for me too, so I needed a little motivation, I should have made the video, but it's all good because I didn't. But with that being said, what I want to talk to you guys about was, let me see. Um, all right, well, yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what happened. Well, yesterday, uh, I, of course, I started working at this location over at this other booth or whatever. And they got this new little way that they do things. And it's like a different method from what we've been doing. Uh, so it causes a lot of issues as of right now so everybody gets used to it, which is okay because every time it's changed it's always going to be some kind of backlash, push and pull type thing so so um, it, it, it kind of got on my nerves a lot um, dealing with that and dealing with people with the different attitudes and stuff like that and that's something that we actually as be entrepreneurs we have to learn how to deal with how to work with because everybody's gonna be as receptive as we are to anything so with that being said um and as in my day started off bad but i worked it out i had a couple of altercations not me physically or nothing like that but i had a couple of run-ins with a couple people that was giving me some problems but i will fix that too i ain't worried about it i worked that out um but really this is about really because of my wife yesterday she was having a bad day and she's been going through a lot so uh, both of those situations come from both of us. Uh, we decided I was going to make a video, and I've talked about this a lot, where we are in a time where things we expect things to be a certain way, or we are hoping that things are done a certain way. And because of that, it kind of makes us um, expect certain things and then get disappointed when they don't happen, instead of us actually going out there and making it happen. Because we tend to forget that we are the controllers of our lives. Like, of course you believe in God, and God has all the control. But at the end of the day, this is your life. You know what I'm saying? That we do, we are the ones that actually have the say so what is going to happen with our lives on a daily. For the most part, for the most part. There are other things that we can, that, that we encounter that is completely out of our control. But the ones you can't control, that's exactly what it is. It's your, your, your thing to control. So, wifey is feeling a little upset, you know, because she's not working at the time. And, um... I'm working. I'm on work right now, so this is why I keep the nine to five or whatever. But I've still got a plan for 2018 because I don't want to do this coming in 2018. So I'm making my plan now and working on it for the next year already for January and February. So um, my thing to you guys, because we all feel like this every once in a while, we feel like the world is, is at the dead end and we're never going to get to where we want to be. and Things just did not work out like how we want them to work out. But as I know, which is what I was going to tell them. You know, but you got you can't tell wifey certain things, you know what I'm saying? So what I was gonna tell her was that, you know, get out your feelings and get up and do something. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you are whatever you feel about yourself is literally how or you are feeling about yourself. Because I remember going through that and you know, like I told you guys about me being depressed and all that stuff, and it literally affects how you think about yourself. And if you if you have the conscious to Keep dogging yourself out and saying that you're little this, you can't do that, you're, you know, you're dumb, you know what I'm saying? Then this is what you're going to actually think. But if you start uplifting yourself and you start saying, like, no, I'm actually going to make this happen. No, I'm actually a boss. No, I'm actually a leader. You know what I'm saying? And treat yourself like your own best friend because, you know, if you have your best friend and your best friend's going through something, you're going to uplift them. So this is what you need to do for yourself because not because I don't have a best friend like that. Like, my wife, you know what I'm saying? That's a given. But I don't actually have a best friend that you call and rely on for anything or whatever. I got people I can talk to, close friends like that, but nothing as far as a best friend. So I had to figure that out on my own and become my own best friend. And it took it took months because I had to retrain my mind. And that's a lot of things that I, my, like, my wife is hard hit. all right? She's a Leo, I'm a Virgo. I don't even know how we ended up together, but we are such polar opposites. But there are other things that we do that is that we are very, very similar in. So, 
she's hard headed. I can tell her all day, every day that this is what I did. This is what you can do. This is what is going to help you. But she won't, you know what I'm saying? She won't do it. Oh, because she just, it's just for whatever reason, she got to do it her own way or whatever. It's going to take longer or see results or however the hell. Anyway, but, um, so I, I try to tell, at the same time, I still try to tell her, you know, what I go through and how I did it. And hopefully that she can take, you know, some time of that stuff to, to, to heat. But a lot of us be thinking that it's going to happen overnight. Like, you're not going to change your mentality overnight. No, you have to train it. You have to train your mindset and your psyche. You have to train your subconscious to, to start doing things differently. And if you don't start doing that today, you're not going to probably know you're going to do it tomorrow. So you need to make that conscious kind of decision to decide that today is going to be the day I'm going to make that change. I'm going to go ahead and, and do something drastic so that way I can make that change, so that way I can see the results that I want to see and get to where I want to be and be the person that I want to be. Because you don't want nobody wants to go around through life being sad and miserable and, and depressed all the time. No, because people don't ever want to be around them. You know, I, the, the crazy thing about it, my, I've been, oh my God, like, it's been a little ridiculous for me this last past year. If it's since the coming up for the MCA and me losing all the weight and everything, I've been getting a lot of crazy attention that I never would have gotten before. And I, it has a lot to do with my confidence now. Because I wasn't confident like this before. And now that I am, it, it starts to exude and show it to other people. And I've also become more positive. I'm more motivational. I motivate myself most of the time. So if you see something posted on my page, it's me motivating myself. Okay, And, of course, motivating you as well. So that's the great part about that. But um, my relief is here. So I guess I'm about to leave on time, which is just a little surprise. Don't know where my ride's at. But anyway, just want to leave you guys with that little tidbit of information and hope that you guys can use it and you understand it. And, um, you know, just take it and, and, and try it out. Like I said, nothing's, none of this shit's going to happen overnight. You got to take that first step and make that change. Then after you make that change, then you can go ahead and from there and become really the, the best person you can be. And you can change lives and change other people's mindsets. And you just never know, man. You never know. So thank you guys again for watching my videos. I really appreciate it at all, as always. And I'm going to have another one for you guys coming up. People are blowing on my phone, but I'm still got to get this money. So let's go, man. I'll see you on the next one.